Um, yesterday I was playing with this circuit with the new Hendershot coil that I made. Um, but tonight I'm going to go a little bit lower tech. So this pulse it's a traditional way of hooking up a relay uh, to make it be a buzzer. Um, when this switch is up, the coil is engaged, pulls the switch down. There's no longer any power to the coil. So, um, this goes up again and it just oscillates. Um, now, um, by pulling um, certain signals off, uh, basically the signals associated with the coil, when the switch is disengaged, there's back EMF from the coil that will go out, creating a very large spike. And what would happen if that was sent into this Hendershot coil? Um, so here's a relay hooked up in that way. Here's a 9-volt battery. Um, this neon is the uh, load that I have on the Hendershot's, Hendershot circuit that I just showed you. So I'm going to hook this up. Yeah. So the relay is uh, buzzing away. And here is our load. Now on the voltmeter, um, we see that it's about 18 volts uh, AC. And so this frequency um, from the buzzer is not necessarily the optimum, because uh, yesterday I was getting upwards to 40 volts. But still, it's enough to light the uh, neon a little bit. And um, the battery probably just sees uh, a, a current draw associated with just doing this buzzer. Um, when the switch is disconnected, the energy in the coil is back EMF into the um, into this, into this uh, Hendershot system. So now I want to show you, uh, this is um, across the L1 and tank circuit. So we're looking at what occurs on the um, on the coil with each one of these back EMF pulses. And it's a large spike coming into the coil. So big, uh, big perturbation on here. Um, and, uh, and then we see sort of a one in the opposite direction. So, but not as, uh, not as high. The, the downward spike is huge. The other probe that I have here is hooked up to the um, to essentially the, the voltage coming into this load. And I will switch to that one. Now, um, the trigger uh, is not always happy because this is um, a waveform that jitters around a lot because of the relay. Um, I have this on 50 volts per division, so this is um, 150 volts peak to peak uh, from the highest to lowest point on these uh, spikes. Um, but the this Hendershot circuit, which has capacitors here, and this coil is doing something interesting with respect to uh, the waveform. Um, there's a one spike causes a downward transition and then it um, the time constant pulls it up to this point and then the next spike sends it in the opposite direction and then the time constant in, in the coil perhaps is pulling it down the other way so um, there's sort of a uh, a uh, a function that it's happening here where um, we're turning uh, these spikes into a square wave. And um, the dominant part of that square wave is uh, 50 volts peak to peak. Well, less than that. Actually, you know, the, the meter sees it as 17. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the, this Hendershot circuit's doing something very interesting there in terms of... So let me uh, show both of these together. Um, we see, you know, these upward and downward spikes causing uh, an upward and downward square wave. 
coming into the loan. Now another thing to show you is have, um, essentially whoops, you have essentially a north pole and a south pole. If I put the north pole near the relay, <laughs> it will actually stop it. Put the south pole near the relay. It stops it even from back here. Now I'm going to put this plate on. It doesn't stop it at all. However, I tip it sideways. The field is out here, really. Uh, watch the voltmeter on the load. Uh, let me back up a little bit here. So as I get closer, the voltage drops down. Do it the other way. In this way, it's actually enhanced a little bit. Part of the trigger. Much uh, less stable with that magnet on there. There we go. A little bit of stability there. So this one's on 50 volts per division. This is the um, load voltage, and this is the voltage on the tank circuit, and it's on 100 volts per division. So the spikes coming into the tank circuit through the transformer are very big. These are large spikes coming back as back EMF from the relay. And our load is uh, lighting away, and it's being run from this 9 volt battery. So I think uh, um, this approach of sort of using a relay um, and a magnet, the magnet sort of to tune so that you can get different uh, levels of power coming in through your circuit, is probably what Hendershot's doing, although his system is a little bit more elaborate. His, he's got um, dual coils, uh, one being a north and one being a south, alternately as the alternating current comes. And then he has a magnet with a bar on stuff.